Right now at 5.30, as the chilly weather returns, a Queens woman living in New York City public housing says that she feels left out in the cold with no heat in her apartment. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And welcome back, I'm Maurice Dubois. The tenant says she has been forced to sleep in her coat and gloves after weeks of failed attempts to get heat inside of her NYCHA apartment. CBS 2's Jessica Moore gets answers now from NYCHA. This is my coat when I'm in the house, the apartment. This is my coat that I walk around with. Cold nights have turned into nightmares for 69-year-old Linda Edwards. It's not right. It's wrong. But it's, how uncomfortable is it to sleep when it's, it's, it's cold? I, have, I put two and three blankets on my bed. And, the, and last night I had to put gloves on. Edward says her apartment inside NYCHA's Astoria houses in Queens hasn't had heat or hot water for the last month. How do you take a bath? Because you don't. I don't take a bath because I don't get in cold water. I take bird baths. I don't take no shower. I haven't taken a shower in a month. During some of the coldest nights of the year so far, her only sources of heat are her oven. I put water for steam so the place can get warm. And this small space heater inside her bedroom. When I open that door, it's like I'm walking into Antarctica. Stacks of papers and numbers show Edward's futile efforts to try to get help from NYCHA. And no one's doing anything. They say something's wrong with the boiler. I don't know what's wrong with the boiler. They say, oh, you see the truck out there? The truck don't do nothing. It's out there, but it's not doing anything. So I, I, I can't take it anymore. Someone has to do something. Or like I said, they just don't, they're not going to get no rent from me. And this will be the first time. And I've been here a long time. Yeah. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. No heat, no hot water, no rent. I've been here too long. I, I, I can't take this. Edward says one month is unacceptable. NYCHA tells CBS2 the mobile boilers at Astoria houses were down earlier this week, but have since been repaired. A NYCHA spokesperson told me Ms. Edwards' case has been referred to the agency's heat desk for further review. In Astoria, Queens, Jessica Moore, CBS2 News. New York City building owners must maintain an indoor temperature of at least 68 degrees during the day and 62 overnight. NYCHA tells us that the temperature inside Mrs. Edwards' apartment is within those guidelines.